Rahim. Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. We'll start with the headlines. Handling operations in Sahar port record tangible high rates of progress in container station performance. After five days of competitions, activities of Oman Desert Marathon come to an end in the Wilaya of Bidia. And celebrating reassurance of the health of His Majesty the Sultan, happiness processions continue in the governorates of the Sultanate. Those are the headlines and now for the news in details. Moving cargo shipments from Port Sultan Qaboos to Suhar Port almost came to a completion after logistics supports have already established and performance containers lounge had achieved a noticeable progress and the piling station came to an end which had prevailed at the start of the moving services. All government departments and companies cooperated for a successful operation. His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Luftlesi, Minister of Transport and Communications, visited Sahar Port and inspected operation steps at container stations and acquainted with all the activities attached to it. And he expressed his satisfaction on the handling of the situation and movement of the shipments. The minister said, now there are no ships waiting in the sea. Most of them, when they, can, when they come in, directly go to the terminal and there are no no delays of containers in nearby ports, as well as port speed works and truck clearance are done in an acceptable and speedy rate. Indications are promising of qualitative change in Sahar. A Sahar airport will be opened on the 18th of November. Besides, other services such as Expressway is underway. Diplomatic relations between the Sultanate and Brunei were the focus of a seminar held on the sideline of the Omani Cultural Days in the capital, Bandar Siri Bagwan, with the attendance of His Excellency Dr. Abdullah bin Nasr al-Harrasi, Chairman of the Public Authority of Radio and Television. Exhibitions which shows Omani culture potentials were also held at the International Exhibition Center in the Brunei capital. They include books, manuscripts, documents, photos, tourism pamphlets, Seviak tools, weavery and silver material. A number of government establishments concerned took part in the event as well as other entities of relation to the cultural and artistic aspects. A cultural seminar was held at the University Islam Sultan Sharif Ali in which His Excellency Sheikh Ahmed bin Hash al maskari Sultanate's ambassador to Brunei Dar es Salaam, presented a work paper on diplomatic relations between the Sultanate and Brunei, stages of its development and involvement as well as future vision of the relations. Brunei participants pray to Allah the Almighty to bestow upon His Majesty the Sultan good health. After five days full of competitions by participants, activities of the Oman Second Desert Marathon came to an end in the Wilaya of Bidia through a ceremony in which aspects of honoring and motivation blended with beautiful scenery that encourage desert tourism and highlight the Sultanate's treasures. Participants completed in six stages, cutting a distance of more than 160 kilometers through desert sand dunes in this wilaya. Organizers said they have exerted great efforts to publicize the event and its stages to reach a worldwide audience through social media sites as well as specialized magazines. Traditional arts were performed at the closing ceremony and a video was run to show the different stages of the competition. Prizes were presented to the winners of the top places, organizers and government and companies that supported the event. The International Energy Agency said today that the oil market has entered a new era with lower Chinese economic growth and booming U.S. shale output. Making a return soon to high prices is unlikely. The agency said in its monthly report that prices could fall further in 2015 after declining to their lowest level since 2010, below 80 U.S. dollars per barrel. The IEA stated that pressure on OPEC to, re to reduce production is building, but at the time of writing, there appeared to be no clear consensus on a formal supply cut ahead of its meeting in Vienna later this month. The IEA said its expected demand for OPEC oil next year at around 29.2 million barrels per day, 100,000 BPD lower than its previous forecast, 
However, the IEA said supply risk remained extraordinarily elevated and could be exacerbated by failing prices. Palestinian protesters clashed with Israeli troops today at a West Bank checkpoint as prayers in Jerusalem proceeded without incident following weeks of tension surrounding a key holy site. Some 40,000 people attended prayers at the, the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, which has been at the heart of recent tensions plaguing Jerusalem. Prayers went on without incidents today after police lifted age restrictions for Muslim men who wanted to pray there for the first time in weeks. The development came a day after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Jordan's King Abdullah II in an attempt to restore calm in the holy city. And still to come in our news bulletin. Qiba School for Basic Education in the Wilaya of Suwayq continues its preparation to participate in the World Robot Olympiad competition in Russia. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Celebrating the reassurance of the health of His Majesty the Sultan, processions of joy continue in the governorates of the Sultanate. Citizens of the Wilaya of Medha and the Governorate of Musandam organized a procession of allegiance and gratitude for the builder of Oman's Renaissance and its leader, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. Huge crowds of citizens participated in the processions, including men, women and children who carried pictures of His Majesty and hoisted flags of the Sultanate, cheering sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty, the beloved leader, praying to Almighty to protect His Majesty as the guardian of this country and its people. In the Wilaya of Iski at the Governorate of Dakhiliya, the citizens organized a loyalty and gratitude procession celebrating reassurance of the health of His Majesty the Sultan. During the march, the citizens sang songs of happiness, carried portraits of His Majesty and the Armani flags. It was accompanied by a number of Omani singing arts and poetry. The citizens expressed their sincere greetings and prayed to Almighty Allah to protect His Majesty as the guardian of this country and its people. Media men in the government of Dufar held a celebration evening rejoicing the gracious appearance and royal speech of His Majesty the Sultan to his loyal people. The media men expressed their loyalty and delight of seeing His Majesty the Sultan and reassuring of his health as he delivered his historical speech to the nation, which was full of affection. Poets also delivered their poems expressing their love, loyalty and happiness for seeing His Majesty the Sultan in good health. The attendees also congratulated His Majesty the Sultan on the occasion of the 44th Glorious National Day and thanked Almighty Allah for bestowing health on His Majesty the Sultan. The Yankul Sports Cultural and Social Club organized a national poetic evening celebrating the reassurance on the health of His Majesty the Sultan. It witnessed the participation from a number of poets from the government of Dahira and from Egypt. The poets delivered poems praising His Majesty the Sultan and the achievements realized during His Majesty's glorious reign at all levels and walks of life. The evening was also accompanied by Omani traditional arts. Qiba School for Basic Education in the Wilaya of Suwayq in the Governorate of North Batana continued its preparations to participate in the World Robot Olympiad competition in Russia. The school already achieved the first place in national educational robot competition in the Sultanate, supervised by the Ministry of Education. The idea of the competition is related to robots and space. The participants should build a robot that can help astronauts in their tasks in space, as well as minimizing the space pollution by getting rid of spaceship waste and out-of-service satellites.
And now for the general weather forecast. Clear skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of cloud accumulation over the coastal areas. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate along the coastal areas of the Sea of Oman, while it will be north to northwesterly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas will be moderate to rough along the western coast of the Governorate of Misendam and the southeastern coast with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters. Along the coast of the Sea of Oman, it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1 meter. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Handling operations in Sahar Port record tangible high rates of progress in container station performance. After five days of competitions, activities of Oman Desert Marathon come to an end in the Wilaya of Bidia. And celebrating reassurance of the health of His Majesty the Sultan, happiness processions continue in the governorates of the Sultanate. With that, we come to an end to tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, good night.